General Abdurrahman Tsiani, the head of Niger's military regime, on Tuesday spoke with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin about strengthening security cooperation between the two countries. Since the ousting of his elected president Mohamed Bazoum last year, Niger has turned to Russia as a defense partner. The two leaders discussed the need to strengthen security cooperation to address current threats and also explore projects for multi-sectoral and global strategic cooperation. According to the Kremlin, the two leaders are ready to engage in a political dialogue and develop mutually beneficial cooperation in various fields. General Abdurrahman Tiani thanked Vladimir Putin for Russia's support for Niger's struggle for national sovereignty. A Russian delegation had visited Niger in December, demonstrating the growing ties between the two countries. Despite the presence of around 1,000 U.S. troops in Niger, military movements have been restricted since the coup and Washington has reduced its aid to the government. A United States delegation visited Niamey in March but did not have the opportunity to meet with General Tiani. Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali, three former French colonies have turned their backs on Paris, breaking away from colonial ties and moved closer economically and militarily to new partners before grouping together within the Alliance of Sahel States with the aim of creating a federation. The dialogue between General Tiani and Vladimir Putin underlines the shift in Niger's international alliances since the ousting of the elected president. By engaging with Russia and exploring avenues for security cooperation, Niger is signaling a departure from its previous reliance on Western powers for defense assistance. Russian President Vladimir Putin also had a similar telephone conversation with Mali's leader Asimi Goita on Wednesday, during which they discussed security and economic cooperation. Asimi Goita wrote on X that they discussed bilateral issues, particularly in security and economic spheres, and agreed to continue cooperation in the fight against terrorism. The Kremlin confirmed the call, saying the two leaders agreed to forge closer ties. Russia has been seeking to strengthen ties with African countries, presenting Moscow as a friendly country with no colonial past in Africa. The calls appear to be part of a round of diplomatic exchanges Putin has made with West and Central African leaders since his re-election earlier this month.